Hey there guys, Neil here, back with uh, not really a full-on app or feature or even service review, but a way to create a minimalist live wallpaper using custom live wallpaper like you see here. So in prior reviews, I've done kind of a, I don't want to say extreme, but one that, uh, live wallpapers, I did a bunch of different things, so a lot of fades, uh, button presses, uh, folders, and things like that to make the layout go with the wallpaper. But let's say you just want a media uh, player that shows your album artwork, track information, and then a weather forecast, just like you see here. So that's what I'll kind of walk through as far as how to create this setup. The only thing that's really optional for me in this whole setup is the actual background that you see faded away. But if you want something like that, then that's also um, something that can be added to your live wallpaper to have a little bit more color as well. So what you'll do is you'll open up custom live wallpaper. Um, this will work on the free and pro version. The only difference being as far as I know is being able to export it if you want to share the live wallpaper itself or um, if you want to import someone else's layout. So the first thing and that's the optional thing is the background. So just picking an image um, or solid color if you want and setting the image. In this case, I have a personal image loaded and I have blur set to 50. Um, so I don't really have to do a dim or anything like that. But it makes allows it for my text for my weather forecast to stand out as well. But if I want it to be a little bit darker, I can do that. Um, so if, if there is a transparent... Um, um, wallpaper or image, then it sees it'll go through that as well. So, if I want the um, full blur, or if I want a zero blur, and I want to um, make it or actually, no, that's actually pretty convenient that that's the wallpaper it's for the logo, so I stand corrected. But, um, basically, if you want to dim the wallpaper, then you can do that as well. Images are solid in themselves. Um, from here, the first thing I start with, because I'm going to go top to bottom, is I want to import some album art. So I created a new image, um, uh, image a placeholder, and I called it album art, so I know exactly what I'm doing there. And then you're going to set your uh, image style to a uh, formula. Um, so that way, custom live wallpaper is going to be able to do a little slightly more advanced pull and pull whatever media is, or artwork from whatever media is playing. You're going to go into music info and you're going to uh, scroll down a little bit and you're going to go to current cover image. Uh, so that way it will pull whatever artwork is with whatever media you're playing. So in this case, in Google Play Music, my current track is from the Westworld uh, soundtrack. So the Westworld uh, image pulls in from there. And then, um, if you, and then as you, depending on your screen size, um, you may need to adjust the width. I have it set to 600, even though, uh, I think my screen's width is, uh, 1080. So actually, uh, or 720, something like that. It's actually a lot bigger. We could actually test it out, right? So actually in custom my wallpaper, it comes to 700, but for my screen, 600 works a little bit well, and I get a little bit of a border around it as well. Um, and then you can do certain things like opacity. So if you want a transparent look, you can do that. If you want to filter, then you can do that. So if you want a, a sepia look or colorize or anything like that with a special color, black and white, then you can do things like that. And then if you want to even dim your uh, wallpaper as well, then that can be done as well. Or even um, do an additional blur, then that is also an option. Um, I set the, I left the position, the anchor position to top just so I can, um, arrange it from the top of the screen and go down. I have, a, a fade out, um, tool for when I unlock my screen so it fades in. I'm actually going to delete that switch because I don't need it. Um, if you want to set a touch action, you can do that as well. I have nothing set for the album art, but, um, if you want to have a specific music controls going on, like opening your whatever player is playing, you can do that. I have a shortcut to all my media apps on my docs. I don't really need that, but um, if you need to increase the volume or decrease it, or if you want some other um, uh, action to happen when that happens, then you can do that. So for example, if you want, if you're not going to have shortcuts, but you want to create a menu behind the album art, then you can do that as well. 
Um, so that's all for the album art. Pretty straightforward. Uh, from here, I actually have two progress bars going on. It's probably the most advanced part of the layout, but it's basically two progress bars that are mirror images of each other. It's the music playtime. Um, I have it set to the default flat progress and no rotation on the one on the left. Um, I actually swapped the colors. Um, the mo I left the mode to flat, but I have the foreground color to gray and the background color to white. So um, the white progress bar is actually increasing with the gray one decreasing. So um, it looks like the so even so it kind of it makes it seem like the or basically I could probably or the rotation I couldn't quite get, but um it's gonna make the white decrease and the gray increase um so basically you have to uh or the gray decrease and the white increase so it makes it so that the progress bars are um coming together in the middle um i left the style to linear and i made the height 300 and uh, or sorry the size 300 and the height 20 the height or the size is the most important thing because since i have two the width is going to become uh, 600 to match the size of my album art um, and then position depending on where you want to place it um, I actually didn't set up any animation but I could do a fade in animation here my track progress right I did I just did a copy of the one on the left and I did a rotation of 180 degrees I adjusted the position to be the exact off offset on the opposite side to my left track bar so um, it's exactly matched and it comes together um, very easily um, so that's all there is for that. That's your progress bars. And then I set up four buttons. So previous is basically, and if you're in a regular music app, let's say Google Play Music, so it's going to skip to the previous track or the start of the flat's current track. Um, size depends on how you want your layout to be. I set it to 75 for sizing. I left the color to white because everything else is white. Um, everything, I have my fade in for when my screen unlocks, but that's about it. Um, and then I set the touch action to music controls in previous. So I, for example, if you're in a podcast client like uh, Pocket Cast, touching the button for me will skip back 10 seconds. Um, and then play and pause are matches of each other except for the logo. Um, I set the material, I'm using the material icon pack that's built in with custom live wallpaper. And then I just did a search for uh, pause, same thing with previous, play, and forward. So you can select the icon there, same size, 75, um, fade in when it um, unlocks the screen, and then music controls play pause, so um, I can touch the button and it performs that action. Uh, play is a ma exact match of, it, of the uh, pause button. The only thing is a position offset, so I have it at negative 20 and 120. Uh, play is that position that positive 20 and 20 so it's actually perfectly offset from each other versus at the center of the screen and then touch action is at play pause and then similar thing i did a copy of the previous track button and i set the position to the exact opposite so it's uh, my four buttons at 200 and 120 and my previous button is at negative 200 and 120 so they're exact mirror images as far as position is concerned and then my touch action for next so in pocket cast is going to skip for 30 seconds in for example google play music or pandora it will skip forward um and then i set some track information so i just had it i just stuck one text box in here and then i went into music i set the current artist current track title and then current track um position um, as of the current tr or total track duration, so I know exactly where we're at. And then the uh, progress bar is mirror, mirror kind of uh, visual representation of that progress as well. Um, I did not include the album information, even though I could have, but the my issue there um, really only is, is with Pocket Cast because it mir uh, mirrors the album and the artist so it's going to show up as a duplicate bit of information and i have a couple of podcasts that are actually kind of long so it overflows and it's kind of weird and i kind of didn't like that so i just kept it to artist and title and then i set the type to fixed width so um it will only or the text will only go as far as the width of my screen and then it'll um, overflow into the next line if there is if there are multiple lines so that or if it overflows into another line so it fits nicely and doesn't really cause any overflow and I can still read the whole um, 
title. And so, for example, for my screen, the width is 700, but it can vary as well. Um, I left or I set my font to Roboto regular, the Android fonts, font size 30, so it fits most things. Um, and that's pretty much all there is for that. So that takes care of my media information. And then I went on to weather. So I set the current, I, I imported the component for uh, weather. It's one of the built in things, and I just set it to, I left it at current. Um, there's a night icon. I'm not sure what that is, but to me, it, I guess it, I don't know if it changes color or what that, the importance of that is, but um, I set that. Scale 100, um, nothing really special as far as the weather stuff goes. It all just depends on positioning and how you want it to look. Um, I also set the current temperature. Um, so f same as um, my meat track information, I set it to Roboto regular font size 30. Um, and then I place it next to my forecast just because that's where I want to see it. Um, and then I did the forecast for today. So what the current uh, weather condition is like, and then the high and low temperature. So that's all in the weather forecast. So you can set all of that information there. And then if you need to return whatever the uh, forecast icon is for uh, conditions and other things like that. And then um, I set a divider just because I, I mean, it's mostly for aesthetics, so it's totally optional, but I want a divider between the current for or today's forecast and weather information versus the forecast. So I put that in there. It's just a re uh, rectangle shape with five high 200 to fit it properly. Um, no other real setups there. I did the fade in, of course. Um, and then I went in and did a forecast. Um, so basically just... Um, the current day uh or or sorry date and then high temperature low temperature and conditions so um i think uh sorry actually, whoops so i think somewhere in here is or for the date function you can set whatever um <clears throat> date format that you want and then um go in and set the uh weather forecast if you go to weather forecast you can um Select the weather, the today's min and max, and all you have to do is change the number. So zero is today, one is tomorrow, two is the day after that, and three is the um, day after that. So it'll automatically match up the full, um, high, lows, and um, um, conditions. So that's pretty much everything. And then positioning, of course, totally depends on where you want to... Um, um, place everything so I set everything up according to where I want uh, my layout to be so my um, album artwork progress bars play pause forward track information all of that so you can even if you wanted to have this information on a custom wallpaper and placed accordingly um, that can be done as well but for me um, the layout this particular layout started because I just wanted a layout that looked like this with the wallpaper or the album artwork um, and track and all of that and weather forecast and all of that with a dock in action launcher so um the only real things that can be touched are the uh, music controls everything else is dependent on my or on action launcher or whatever launcher you have set up um the other thing that's pretty cool that you can do is you can even say if you wanted your album artwork to be uh, whatever media you or that the album or if you want your background image to be the album artwork for whatever you're listening to um, the same way you set your album artwork formula you can do in the background so if you go into background you select the type of image and you touch this calculator you can touch the calculator again if you go to music in info you can set the formula to um, your cover image so that way when you do that your wallpaper will be, or actually you do need to change it from solid to image, but um, you can set your background wallpaper to be your image. You can blur it out a little bit and have that um, change as you listen to tracks if you want that update as well. So that's all there is for this review. It probably took a little bit longer than I expected, um, but all the elements are part of the built-in components of custom live wallpaper. Um, so if you want to... Uh, I may put this online to share, but if you want to a copy of this live wallpaper for um, yourself, then you can always email me headphones at yahoo.com or find me on Twitter at PatelN01 and I'll I'll be happy to send it to you. 
Um, and of course, all other links can be found on the website at pateln01.com. All other reviews can be found on YouTube at youtube.com slash pateln01. But that's all there is for this review. Thanks for watching and listening, and until next time.